up guys today's test drive is a 1968 ford mustang this one's got the bleed to be 289 no power steering no power brakes aluminum radiator electric fans it does say 302 on the side of the car that doesn't necessarily mean that's what it is um the reason in behind i call it a 289 is three bolts in the lower pulley here uh, 302s usually have four so that's usually how I get my information off of the, the Ford Motors there between the two. There's detailed pictures, financing and shipping, maplemotors.com. There's going to be a picking out the flaw segment at the end of this video. So stick around to that. That is very important if you're interested in buying. With that being said, hit subscribe, share. We have financing, shipping, all that good stuff. Just go to maplemotors.com. Every Monday, I update with new inventory. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, look around the interior and check everything out. Missing the cover there. This one starts up good. Engine temperature really hasn't moved much. We'll keep an eye on it though. Got gas. Got good oil pressure. It's our wiper and it's not doing anything, so wipers need work. Blower motor. I'm waiting for something, but nothing's happening, so the blower motor's out on this one. Face of the radio is in the office. Turn signals. I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. It's flashing, it's just barely doing it. This side, too. Horn, did you place your bets? Do you think the horn works? Be trying it out in two seconds. Y'all ready? It does. Horn works good. All right, let's hit the road, see what else we can find. Okay, let's get out. Get out of here. Let's go. This right here, pretty cool. All right, we're gone. Try reverse. This is the first time I've driven this ride. I got a bug on me. Threw it out. <laughs> we got drive there. All I did was drive next door. This is like a vacant parking lot, so I'm finally taking advantage of it. Why not? We good to go. Look at this open road here. Good shift. going straight down the road this one's pretty straight it's not pulling left or right a little bit of slack in the steering there you see that it's turning there and it's turning there not a whole lot but a lot of times when you don't have power steering you'll have a little bit of play speedometer's working she's quiet going down the road feels like an overdrive or something getting into the brakes feel good. Back in your throttle. A little bit of a hesitation there. Yeah, I bet this will do good on the highway. Back in our brakes. They've got a little bit of a left pull. When you hit the brakes, watch it. His steering wheel kind of pulling that way. Look, we can get all the way back over in that lane. <laughs> I'm gonna bypass all the traffic and cut through here. Uh, let's get some undercarriage shots. I love the passing camera, give you an idea what it sounds like driving by. And of course, we'll drive back to the lot. I'll be right back.
right heading on back to the lot that engine temperature came up a little bit so i guess it is working there we go with drive Pretty smooth going down the road. Suspension wise, we're good. Guys, don't forget to check the description below. That's full of useful links. And this road here has got a nice little bump in the middle of it. Kind of give you an idea on that suspension. It's coming up. It's right here. Pretty smooth. Just a little stiff in the back, if anything. Watch this. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> it's one of my buddies. He's out jeeping it up today. But yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good on this one. A little vibration on the dash. Where's it at? That little piece there is messed up too. Where's it doing that? It's a piece of trim out here. Huh. It sounded like it was coming from the dash. We're pulling back into the lot, flipping over to picking out the flaws. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm here to pick out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride and see what we can find. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping. MapleMotors.com Okay, I'm going to start up here in the front. You got a few little chips behind that bumper. A little hazy over here on this edge. Chrome's older. Gonna cross your grill. Chips there. Chip here. Scuffs on this front end. Tires are in great shape. Wheels also look good. Nice little dish on them. Up and over. Scuff here in the corner. A hole in the side. Missing mus. <laughs> it just says stain. Scratch here on the side. Bubble on the door. A scratch coming down the side here. A lot of that will come out, but I mean, that's pretty big. He must have bumped into something. There's a crease there, too. Moving over. Dent. Back your midsection, there's a ding here. It's hard to see. Like scratch. Get that guard on the door there, but it's kind of older. See it chrome peeling off of it. Of course, it's just double sided tape pitting on the door handle. Chips on that edge. A little foggy here on top of the fender. in good shape a little bit of pitting around the vent window seals good your pillar there over spray <laughs> little 
spot there. Front windshield looks good. Your back window has old tint on it. You can see light little bubbles, crease line there. I don't know why they did that. Why would they do that? I don't know why that line's there unless they did two pieces of tint. That just, that just don't make sense. Okay, coming back, I'd take that tint off the back window. The roof looks good. Looking back here. Back bumper there. Got some like scratches on it. Looking in your jam. Got some carpet back here. Package tray looks good. Coming down with the trunk lid. Light little cracks. There's a dent here, here. I'm trying to make it pop up for you. I don't know if it's going to. And here. Yep, there it is. That one popped up. But will these? Boom. And yep. I don't know what happened here. That's just a big blob, blob on the paint job. I don't know what's going on. What would cause that? Okay, scratch here, chip, little rust bubbles at the bottom there, tires are in good shape, there's a dent here on the side, spot in the corner, chip there, spot up in the front here. Chip there. Back in midsection. Little chips. Little ding here. On the top. It's over there. There's a ding here as well. I wonder where all these dents are coming from. Really small. Just like one finger type dents, but yeah. There's a crease here. A sec, is that another one of those spots? I think that'll buff out. This back here, I don't know. Mirror looks good. Vent window seal and everything's good. Little spot in the paint there. Chip up front. Chips there. Crack up here. Look at that. That's about to flake off. I've seen people use super glue on them before and they lasted a long time, but that old piece right there getting ready to chip off. Something ain't done. A scuff here, front windshield. We made it around the outside now. Let's open her up, see what else we can find.
spots on top of the door panel there. Cracks on the handle. The bottom too. But around that edge. Chip there. The seat looks good. Little spot here. And it might actually come off. The carpet looks to be pretty original. Good thing is it's not all tore up. But it's a little faded. Package tray's got some damage to it. I was gonna say maybe they left the tent to save the package tray, but I mean it needs to be redone. Top of the seat. Got fading too where the green is wore off. I just don't understand why they had to do two pieces on this. <laughs> you tick guys, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh man. That's my two cents. there okay brand new thermostat in there or is that the old one yeah does not look guess I'll close it up some cracks in the seat here little chips on that door panel same on the bottom you see where people kick the door getting in and out. A spot there. I don't know what happened here. But I fixed it somewhat. There's a crack in the middle. Is that a butterfly? Maybe it's a moth. Let's get him out of here. Anything. Start it up. really hadn't warmed up yet I drove it a little bit great oil pressure Coming down with the hood. Got some chips on the edge here. Right there as well. Chips on this edge. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. That helps me out quite a bit. We do have detailed pictures, financing, and shipping on maplemotors.com. And of course, do this every day. You'll see new cars on Monday. That's every Monday around 12 o'clock. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.